It's Christmas time, 1988 in San Francisco, and Jack McAllister's life is going to get all kinds of fucked up. His car is totaled by a drunk Ukrainian cab driver, and he starts seeing an imaginary Russian monk who nobody else can see, but starts telling him to do horrible things. He quits his job, he uh, buys a ticket to Australia, and, uh, and then he steals two of the Russian books uh, from Boris's, the drunk Russian uh, Ukrainian cab driver, from his cherished collection of Russian masters. Then bad things happen. Jack almost dies during a camping expedition with his half-brother in the High Sierras. When he's off in Australia, all the women that he gets close to, the ones he really gets close to, end up dying. He, he gets called back home by his brother and uh, he, <laughs> to take care of his dying mother. <laughs> Uh, that's a it's a memoir, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, now, this is an example of what we call in the business a plot-heavy pitch. It's really difficult in a minute to tell the entire story of your book. What we need is a couple of pictures. Like I thought the beginning was great. It was Christmas. This happens. This happens. And then to pull back and give us some more broad strokes of the themes of the book. A couple of pictures are really all we need to establish. Uh, what part of the book story you're going to be in, what your book is about, and those pictures that you presented I thought were great. The, the, the Ukrainian cab driver and the monk who's not there, those were all great details. But then as, the, as you said one detail after another, you started to lose me and I started to wander a little bit. Um, and of course then your 60 seconds is up. So uh, you obviously it needs to be condensed. The pictures were great. But again, everybody keeps saying about arc. Where's the where's the story going? Where's the beginning? Where's the be the middle and the end? And in every story that has a narrative, we have to fall in love with the character. And I didn't quite fall in love with this guy, which I need to do. Uh, excellent beginning. I mean, I was I was hooked right away. I mean, I I mean, I do feel like so far of the pitches, I know the most about this book, even though I don't know where the arc ends. I do know that. I mean, I know that it's going to be humorous. Or attempt to. <laughs> I think it is. Um, I know. <laughs> yes. um, no. Uh, I mean, right away he sets the scene. The year he gives us context. Uh, we know some events. Probably too many, as David said. I mean, I think in two and a half minutes you might have been able to round this pitch up. Yeah. Um, but like you know, I mean, next time around, if you're going to do this in a minute, just start chopping wood. Like figure out. I mean, but I think it's important to include some of the stuff you did because you did provide more of a context than anybody else so far. I kind of know what this is. I kind of know that it's like. It's sort of madcap literary fiction. It's sort of in the Gary Stengart sort of... I mean, I know how to con put it in a context better than any of the books we've heard yeah. so far, right. but I just felt like there wasn't enough time and, and, and like, you gave me too much quirk for one minute. I mean, all that quirk can fit in a 300-page book, no problem, but in a minute, <coughs> pick and choose the gems. I think in two and a half minutes, you would have, you know, probably finished it and came around to the end, but, like, it's a great start to a pitch, I'll say that. You know, one, of the, one of the things that frustrates me about being a sales rep is that of those 2,500 books that I have to pitch, now half of them are nonfiction and they're about, you know, throwing clay pots. So, you know, you don't have to read those. But a good percentage of the literary fiction and nonfiction that I sell, I'm reading book briefs about, I'm reading, you know, I can't read the entire manual, <laughs> right? Um, and so it's important for me to really be able to get a handle right away. On, on where it's going, sort of the core story, and sort of what it's about, you know. I mean, the, the, all the details are great. Again, you know, I get it that it's humor. I get sort of the madcap quality to it. Where are we going with it, though? How is it, what is going to offer the reader in the end? Is it just a great ride? Is it to tell us something about the time, about the people, and about, you know, cross-cultural sort of experiences? Something like that, so that they can get a handle, because again, then they're going to turn around and, and share that with their staff with, with their customers. So, yeah, I, I get exactly where Johnny's going. I mean, it, I'd love to hear, I want to hear the whole thing. I wish most of my publishers would give me, you know, a, an abstract on every single book. The most amazing thing to me, though, is editors do not want to tell you how it ends. They don't want to tell you that there's a rape on page, you know, 147, you know, that's going to surprise you. But you want to know that. Right, you need to know that as a rep, and they won't tell you. So, I mean, so you know, it's it's just the truth, though. It's just astounding to me. So, you just need to help 
you need the help who you're talking to to really get how it fits into the genre and sort of what it's going to give. So I'd say like the first 30 seconds, everything was going fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then it started to slow down a little. And I thought, if you switched gears that 30 seconds, you gave us those specifics. We got that it was humor. We got a lot about the book. And then in the last 30 seconds, you spent uh, backing up. You gave us the specifics. Then maybe use a wider angle and say, you know, how this book, what this book is about, like thematically, how this comes around, what it speaks to in our culture thematically. So like 30 seconds of micro, 30 seconds of macro might have served it. I think that's probably where you were going if you had another two minutes, but like a minute. I mean, I mean, this is even harder than I thought. I, was <laughs> I, know, I, I, know, I, know, I know. One of you is thinking, I mean, where's our I could go up right? and pitch you guys right now. And all four of you are going to have, like, for a book I already sold, and all four of you guys are going to have to be saying the same stuff to me. Yeah, yeah, you we'll should ring. put the timer on us. Yeah. The, the, the timer on me. The sure. only yeah. last thing I'll say that I think could help you here is, is to do the comp titles. You're... So we get, yeah. so we really do know, okay, I think this is like Gary Steingart, am I right? You know, like just a couple comparatives would be helpful at the very end. So we come away knowing because there obviously is a lot in here, um, but it sounds very fun. It does, it really sounds fun.